it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, October 22nd. Okay, so we have the moon in her rulership in Cancer Energy here all day. Definitely putting us in a more introverted situation and circumstance. We're kind of reliant on what is tried, tested, true, what is comfortable, what is familiar, especially in order for us to maintain our emotional stability. There is an aspect with this cancer energy that we're very attached to the past. We could be reflecting back on the past and kind of romanticizing situations and circumstances that, according to our memory, happen in a way that didn't exactly match the reality. And of course, we are fantasizing, we are romanticizing in order to convince us that we don't have to kind of make the changes that we know that we need to make. It is the ego programming attempt to keep us in a state of paralysis, to keep things the same. Now, it's going to be an interesting dynamic here today because, of course, the moon in Cancer bringing up all the feels, downloading us with a new sense of intuition, new visions, new goals, new dreams, especially with where it is that we need more safety, more stability, more security. Now, it's interesting because today is the last day that the moon, of course, is going to be supporting the sun in Libra energy. We are shifting into Scorpio season here today. So at the final degrees of any sign, there is this urgency. There is this pressure for us to wrap things up. If you need to take a look back over Libra season, see kind of what popped off for you, where the scales ended up in flux and kind of weighing against you, especially where situations and circumstances revolving relationships are concerned, this is definitely going to set the tone for the shadow work that we are going to have to do in Scorpio season. So there is an astro forecast out there for what Scorpio season is all about. And of course, download your October energy guide to figure out where Scorpio season is going to be illuminating, influencing, impacting your physical realm. It is going to be a very intense, very transformative season, as it always is. And especially coming out of Libra season that had all of those eclipse energies really kind of holding us back from seeing things clearly, seeing the truth, being able to express ourselves in the way that we want. Scorpio season is going to open up the floodgates, open up our mouths, open up our headspace. We're analyzing, we're kind of digging things up, if you will, to piece together what we need to be informed about before we make the changes, the transformations in our emotion realm, in our soul, in our spirit, because of course the heart and the head have to get in alignment before we can engage the physical body to take action, to make moves out in the external realm. So there's going to be a fluctuation, let's call it. We're going to get off to a little bit of a bumpy start here today because of course the sun is going to be at the final degrees of this Libra energy, which means that there's going to be an interaction with Pluto, of course, at this 29 critical crisis degree of Capricorn energy. And we have to understand that we are kind of building up the tension, if you will, before moving into Scorpio energy, which is going to help us kind of figure out what needs to be done. The latter part of the day, once we move into this Scorpio energy, going to be much more positive, much more optimistic than we begin the day in. So with all of that being said, there are 11 different aspects popping off here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. So we kick the day off with a little bit of a gentle nudge in the right direction. And we're really going to want to hold on to this because, again, we kind of get a little bit of a good energy and then we deep dive into some tough energies. So Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. Mercury is in Scorpio energy again, detective hat on. Again, trying to bring things up in order to break things down, in order to come to a particular understanding of how it is that certain situations, circumstances actually happen. Now, we have Mercury trining, which is a beautiful interaction, with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who, of course, is retrograde in Pisces energy. First of all, this is definitely going to help us get a little bit more organized in our thoughts, really kind of give us more of a reality check than losing ourselves into la la land. And it's going to help us kind of see 
the structure, if you will, of the thought process that we're in, breaking things down, kind of, you know, unearthing particular road blockages or challenges, especially in the headspace, especially where communication is concerned. This could be a healing energy. We're getting to the matter of fact. We're getting to the point. We're getting to the truth of a particular matter. We do have a little bit more of a tunnel vision situation going on here. And of course, having a trine means that we have water on water playing together in order to help cleanse us and purify us and refresh us and renew us, especially in our thoughts, especially in our inner dialogue, especially with the way that we're communicating. So we kind of are taking a good look at where it is that we've been overwhelmed, where it is that we didn't know the right questions to ask, where it is that we didn't even know that we were missing some details. And now we're starting to kind of see different areas pop up in our mind's eye that need a little bit more time, need a little bit more attention. So this is definitely going to help us kind of be a little bit more systematic in our thinking, a little bit more structured in our thinking. And kind of when planning and strategizing come together, we're able to see the step by steps that we actually have to take in order to a articulate what it is that we're trying to say to other people, b organize our thoughts in priority, and c really kind of understand the actual problems that we need to be focused on. Because again, over the last couple of weeks, everything was a problem. Some things that we were focused on really weren't as important as some of the things now coming to the surface of our awareness. So the moon in cancer energy is going to then make a harsh interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. Now in this Sag energy. And so this is kind of the beginning of a bumpy type of energy that we're going to be experiencing here early on in the day. The moon and Venus coming together, we're unsure what we need. We're unsure what we want. We're unsure what it is that we actually need to build and create in our lives in order to be happy, in order to feel safe and secure and stable. Of course, the moon and cancer, very much in preservation mode, very much attached to the past. Again, looking back, romanticizing situations that, again, did not happen in the way that we are currently remembering them as. And Venus over here in Sag energy, she's fun. She's fancy free. She's focused on the future. She's focused on experimenting on exploring. But the harsh interaction is that emotionally speaking, we're looking back. And Venus, of course, she's looking forward. So there is a disconnect here. And the disconnect, the distance in between where emotionally we're focused on and where it is that we're trying to decide what it is that we need to build and create in order to have a happier day to day life. The gap, the distance is very extreme where the fire energy of Sag is kind of pushing us out of our comfort zone. The moon in Cancer is preventing us from leaving our comfort zone. So we're definitely going to be at odds with our thoughts, with our emotions, with what it is that we actually believe that we need at this particular juncture. The moon in Cancer then going to get into the boxing ring, square off with the north node in Aries energy. So of course, a square highlights where we're going for growing pains. Again, the North Node in Aries trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us in alignment with our soul's mission, with our soul's potential. But again, very futuristically focused. The moon and Cancer focused on the past, focused on what could have been, focused on, again, replaying certain situations and circumstances in a particular way that didn't actually happen. A little bit of a deludu, let's say. And in this particular energy, we're not seeing our abilities to grow, to evolve. We don't want to see them. We want to convince ourselves that we don't have to grow, that we don't have to evolve, that we don't have to do anything different. We just have to make peace with what currently is. So again, highlighting the tension, the conflict, because again, we should be focused on the future. But again, we're overly attached to the past. The sun in the final degrees of Libra energy going to get into the boxing ring square off with Pluto, who of course is at the final degrees of Capricorn energy. And again, Libra energy, Capricorn energy, they don't seemingly get along too well, mostly because the air element and the earth element are the furthest elements away. The air element has us all stuck up in the head space and the earth element has us very present in the here and now. Of course, Pluto 
he's the great transformer. He brings up a lot of darkness, a lot of shadows in order for us to sit in it, in order for us to see where we can take our power back, where we have control over certain situations and circumstances. And because this is the last interaction that the sun is going to make before shifting into Scorpio energy, this is going to be intense. It is not going to feel good. It is going to bring anxiety. It is going to put us in a situation where suddenly we don't trust our thoughts. We don't trust our feelings. We don't trust the world around us. We don't trust people. Why? Well, because again, the scales are are tipped in the most extreme degree. There's going to be a heaviness. There's going to be a weight on our heart space, on our head space. Of course, indecision reigns supreme in this Libra energy. And we still haven't come to any kind of choice point, any kind of decision point, And we're kind of losing faith. We're losing faith in ourselves. We're losing faith in the greater, grander plan. We are losing faith that, again, we are going to come to a certain point of clarity, of choice, of decision. And so we're really spiraling at this particular juncture. Again, we're not going to sit in it for the whole day, but we're definitely going to feel the heaviness, the weight, if you will, in order for us to, again, realize where the scales are working against us and where it is that we have the opportunity in our heart space, in our head space to kind of reframe a lot of the not so nice thoughts and feelings that we're currently experiencing. And of course, boss up, flipping the switch into something positive, something lighter. We have Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Sag energy, making a little bit of an awkward interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer. So this, of course, is fire on fire because, of course, Chiron is retrograde in Aries energy. Fire on fire energy, well, it does help us kind of burn through the cords, through the attachments to the past. It does kind of help us burn through the weight, through the heaviness in which we're feeling. And then it helps us regenerate. And then it helps us kind of create a spark, a fire, a flame within us in order to do better, in order to be better. But this is an awkward interaction, so it's likely not going to come at us with grace, with ease. What it's going to do is it's going to trigger us. It's going to trigger our heart space in a big way. It's going to show us where it is that there are parts of this old version of self, especially when we find ourselves in that heaviness and that weight and that funk between the sun and Pluto. It's going to highlight for us where it is that, again, we're kind of getting closed off, closed minded. We're reverting back to the old version of self. We're getting lost in this negative narrative lost in the heaviness of our emotional weight. And we're really not clear on what it is that we want, we need, we desire. Again, confusion leads to delusion. And a lot of that delusion is helping us to spiral in a not so good place in our heart space, in our head space, in order for us to kind of realize where we have more power and control than we're currently realizing that we actually have. The moon and cancer energy then going to semi square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Uranus, the great awakener who is retrograde in Taurus energy. And so this is going to kind of compound the element of confusion. We are actually creating more anxiety within ourselves than anything else at this particular juncture. We're feeling hella defensive. We're feeling hella protective. And again, just a reminder, Uranus being retrograde in this Taurus energy is supposed to be illuminating for us where it is that we're holding on to particular people, places, and things, not because we like them, not because they're serving a purpose, not because they still have anything left to teach us, but because we're actually scared of letting these particular people, places, and things go and not trusting the fact that the universe is going to deliver something better in the place of the things that we're currently letting go of. And so with the moon and cancer energy overly attached to the past, this is kind of bringing up a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, a lot of insecurity, a lot of confusion on how it is that we are going to actually release, let go, disconnect from a lot of the things that we know at this particular juncture are not serving us, not supporting us, not making us feel good, not making us feel safe, secure, or stable. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus. So Venus being the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in the Sag energy, 
for a little tiny brief moment, if you will, we're going to realize where it is that we have to be a little bit more optimistic. We have to be a little bit more positive about our ability to do the hard things. The hard things being realizing in our past what it is that we need to let go of, what it is that we need to release, what it is that we have to close the door on. But this isn't a negative or heavy realization. It's actually an excitable one. It's an excitable one to the point where, again, we realize what it is that we've got by doing the things that we've already done. Venus in this Sag energy, she wants to experiment. She wants to explore. She wants to be adventurous. She wants to try new things in order to create happiness, joy, safety, security, stability in her everyday life. Emotionally speaking, we're kind of waking up to the fact that guess what? We're putting a lot of energy into trying to keep things the same. When realistically speaking, we have all the evidence, all the proof that we need in order to realize that change is upon us. We have to change. We have to grow. We have to evolve. 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun is moving into Scorpio energy. Again, please listen to the Astro Forecast. Please get out your October energy guide and just kind of capture where the mood is kind of shifting. The energy is definitely going to be uh, a total change. Thank goodness that we are closing the door on Libra season. And for the most part, we are going to start feeling a little bit refreshed, a little bit renewed. Now, the moon and cancer energy is going to try and beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. So again, a trine means that there is a change. There is a transformation, especially emotionally speaking. We are getting a little bit more realistic with what it is that we actually want, need, and desire to feel safe, to feel secure, especially in our emotional realm. Now, Saturn does bring the reality check, but it's not a harsh one. It's just kind of like an aha moment, a realization that some of the systems structures, routines, relationships that the old version of self had built and created, they're not really providing us with the safety, security, stability, happiness, and joy that they once did. And so having this realization, we're like, okay, so what could we build in the place of the things that we're no longer kind of resonating with? And because Saturn kind of brings a more organized type of vibe, we're starting to be able to understand our emotions a little bit better. We're seeing them from a different set of eyes and we're recognizing where it is that we do have the ability to kind of change and transform how it is that we're thinking, how it is that we are feeling. The moon is then going to try beautiful interaction with Mercury. Mercury, of course, ruler of the mental plane in Scorpio energy. Again, water on water action. This is very cleansing. This is very refreshing. This is very renewing. Our heart space, the moon, our head space, Mercury, they're on the same page. They're working together. They're understanding where it is that change and transformation could actually be good where change and transformation could actually help break us free from a lot of the pain, a lot of the trauma, a lot of the weight that we've been carrying on our heart space. And if you find yourself in situations and circumstances to have heart to heart conversations about what needs to change, this is going to be a beautiful opportunity to do just that. The last aspect that we have popping off here today is Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Sag energy, trining another beautiful aspect with the north node in Aries energy so this is fire on fire action and we're thinking about the future and we're thinking about what we actually want to do want to pursue want to build want to create in order for us to build the physical realm that not only looks good not only feels good that is much more in alignment with our higher selves with this new version of self who of course wants to break free of the heaviness the weight the pain the trauma that the old version of self had been attached to had built had created